finally cyberpunk is finally started to get right <laughs> like a year was it december 2020 this game came out and now they're starting to they're releasing dlc in 2023 that's kind of sad but at least they're on the right track finally <laughs> they're adding what are they adding they're adding they're adding a DLC, Phantom Liberty. It looks pretty cool. The trailer was kind of interesting. You work for the president. That's kind of cool. And Johnny's back. Um, it looks interesting. They're finally using the stadium. Uh, hopefully there's a lot of new weapons, guns, and maybe you can get a new apartment. Some new cars. Maybe even planes. That's Maybe that's too much to ask for. And I, hear, I read they're reworking police system and some of the driving vehicles so that's pretty i'm pretty impressed with this so far and what else are they adding they're releasing the final update for ps4 patch 1.6 for ps4 and xbox one kind of stupid they're releasing the dlc as ps5 ps5 expansion but like this whole game is fucked because you delayed it for <laughs> you allowed it to be on a whole gen console it's kind of stupid but at least you've got a whole new district. That's kind of cool. I would hope they would just use the normal one. And just expand a bit on it. But that's that's not, that's not too bad. What else is there? There's an Edge Runners update that will add in-game arcade play. Endless Runner Road Race from The Witcher. That's pretty cool. And that's about it. Hopefully this marks a good change for the show hopefully for the game and hopefully they can start getting it back on track now this game's release was absolutely terrible but this trailer was pretty good and i think this game has got good writing i'm pretty excited for it pretty pretty interesting idea like work for the president of america the new united states like, there's some clever ideas in here it looks good and it's a transmog system allows you to change whatever Change whatever uh, armor you have while also keeping the look of another one. Applying the stats to different ones. That's what I wanted from when I came out. Should have been. Should have. All of these updates should have came with the game. Then I'd be more excited for the DLC. But hopefully, if you've played The Witcher 3, that came out some pretty strong DLC. If you played uh, Tucson, Tucson DLC, that was pretty good. And Blood of Wine, pretty, Tucson was like, spent like 20, 30 hours on it. It's like nearly the size of a full game, and this, they haven't released any details about this yet, but it looks, hopefully it's pretty long. And that's about it, there's meant to be a second DLC, I guess that comes out somewhere next year. Overall, an overhaul of the police vehicle, or vehicle combat, a new gameplay for melee combat, new cyberware. Sounds like this game next year I'm gonna really give it another try. I did like the game when it came out, it was so broken though. And e <laughs> the game even was it like deleted my save or something. It was a mess when it came out, especially PS4. But you know what? I I like their games. I have faith they'll fix it. Might be a bit too late, but at least compared to this to any other triple A game and most of them would have given up on it by now. It's at least they're sticking with it and they're not not at all Scott. But hopefully the new show was pretty good. Edge Runners. Come now a couple of days. Hopefully it's good. Uh it looks alright. Pretty cool. Goodbye.